So before today, the longest survival mode time lapse I'd ever done was probably around eight hours or so. That that kind of changes today as we've uh, we've done a lot of progress. And unfortunately, I have no energy to do a funny intro. So instead, this is all you're gonna get: me and this. Ha ha! Hoo he! Aha! Wait, that was wrong. Finally. Badoom. <laughs> so if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, which turns out quite a lot of people who are watching aren't, then I hope today changes your mind because this is by far my favourite ever build in Minecraft. Let's get into the episode. Welcome back to the wonderful world of X-Life. Here I am on my flying carpet, looking pretty cool if I do say so myself. And since last time, I've actually been AFKing my kelp farm here. I've just been sitting in a corner waiting for more kelp to grow. Oh, hello. Some just grew. And as you can see in this chest, it's looking pretty good. We've got a double chest and a half full, which is awesome. So that should hopefully give us enough blocks to get some massive progress done today. And speaking of progress, I've also been very busy grinding out some stock for my shop. So if we head to spawn now, we can put some warp scrolls in here. People have actually bought more already. Lovely, there's another diamond to the collection. We're actually gonna change golden carrots to a stack as we've got quite a lot right now. There we go. Hopefully we'll sell some more of those. Dark prismarine. Ooh, it's all sold out. Lovely. I have some more of that. And we've got five new unbreaking lassoes, which we can put in here to sell as well. I think we're good for the rest of things for stock for now. I noticed when I teleported into this waystone here, We've got this on the wall. Three star builders were great. However, the receptionist needs training. Forgot all basic parts of his job. Not happy. I presume that's from CPK. Has he left his diamonds? No. Okay, so he's got a day left to pay. If he doesn't pay by then, then we're going to have to go through and take payment in another way with force. AKA basic, we're just going to go and take a load of stuff from his base and claim it as ours as payment. I just came into Whip shop here and opened this crate and it made like a sort of beat. Listen to this. It's a nice little beat, doesn't it? But anyway, we're actually going to buy some slime as we were getting kind of low. On a whim, I decided to check my zombie shop to see if I've actually sold anything. <gasps> Look, diamonds. People have actually bought stuff. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Oh, yes. Thank you. Whoever bought my rotten flesh, I appreciate you. Not the best. But anyway, it is time for the biggest time lapse I've done on the X-Life server. This base, we've been adding bits here and there. But today, I want all of this half done and all of that half done and maybe the dome as well. We're going to see how far we can get. But I've put aside a lot of time. I'm ready. I hope you guys are as well. Let's cut to a very epic build time lapse. So I actually finished recording that clip two days ago. We have been building for probably around 20 hours in total of in-game time. It's been insane. I've been putting in a lot of work and I actually did some pretty stupid stuff as you're about to see in a second because you see this entire wall on the left here that I'm building in, adding in now, looking pretty nice, isn't it? Well, guess what? That That's two blocks off. Um, so yeah, you can see me extending everything two blocks in a way. I, I, I have to delete all of this. Here's a reaction from me when I found out how much I'd messed up. I, 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 I want to cry. How is this messed up so bad? This is the problem. You see this? This is the center here. The center is block off. How have I done this? Everything is two blocks too far the other way. Everything from this point on this side onwards has to be moved two blocks this way, including Literally all of this. Ah, 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 oh, oh gosh. So yeah, roughly around an hour and a half's worth of progress just gone. So I had to completely destroy all of it, as you can see me doing here. Um, but turns out, you know the glass that I'm using, that white glass, that basically pickaxes don't work on it. Doesn't work like normal glass. Turns out it has the texture of like obsidian. It was quicker for me to actually break obsidian than it is to break this glass. So you can see here me struggling to break the glass, but I actually came up with a pretty genius solution. Yep, that's right, TNT. 
Yes, nice. So all in all, that little blunder actually cost me around two and a half hours of my time as I had to completely rebuild everything and had to destroy it as well. It was just, oh my gosh, such a massive pain. But we got there in the end and as you can see here, we are making some solid progress. Right on the end is actually the new bit. That's like a kind of greenhouse sort of thing. I feel like I've gone for this very sort of open aired like glass roof not open aired that's the wrong word but like you know glass roof so it's lots of lights coming in and stuff as is kind of obvious by this massive dome on the top of the roof here and honestly the dome is the worst part to build by far you can see me build the third section of it there that took quite a long time to build and I always just like leave that bit to last because it's just like really such a pain you've got to follow it block by block and if you make a mistake that glass as I said earlier so horrible to break just horrible now although this this time lapse has probably only been about two or three minutes for you guys. 20 hours for me, like I said earlier. Plus, I had to actually go and collect some more resources at some point. I ran out of Dark Prismarine. I ran out of this iron shingle block you can see me using here. I went out of wood many a times. Oh my gosh, it was such a pain. But we got there in the end. And honestly, I'm so excited to look at this thing because I still haven't looked at it fully with shaders yet. I've been building without shaders and I didn't really have a sneak peek or anything. I just wanted to wait till the end after I was done because this is the first time I've actually seen this thing in full as in my testing world I'll show you afterwards what it looks like in my testing world it's not complete but now here we go we get to finally have a look at this thing so like I said earlier before I start the time lapse I checked my life book and we're actually on 142 hours but now we are on 162 so it's literally been 20 hours of building and working on this base but let's have a look at it we're gonna have to sort of load it all in first as it's quite big and takes a while to load in I also lit up the entirety of the inside in here. This is actually not going to be the ground level, although it might be. I don't know. We'll have to mess around with it. But we were getting so many mobs spawning in that I thought it was about time we fixed that. Also, there are some bits missing still, like the windows here. I've done on this side, but I kind of forgot to do on that side. So just pretend that that's not like that for now. All right, so I think it's all loaded in. Let's pan out and have a look at this thing. Please look good. Please look good. Please look good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I've gone for a German accent there. Yes, that is looking grand. Holy moly. It's massive. It is massive. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the scale of it, really, to be honest, because it just is It's quite detailed. So let me just head down to the ground and you can kind of see the scale of this thing. I'll just drop down. Not going to do my trick. Just going to take the half a heart damage. Look at it. It is huge. The dome inside all the way around here. I'm so glad the majority of this is done. Obviously, you probably saw there. The entirety of the back is missing, but I don't care. I'm going to work on that like sort of off camera probably as it's just the same stuff as the front. But yeah, look at this. Look how far the other end is. Let's see how long it takes us to fly to the other end. 14 seconds. I just counted 14 seconds. That is ridiculous. And there are some bits missing in some places like there's little bits of details missing on the bottom here. But the majority of it is built. I probably missed some bits as well that you guys are going to point out and I'll try and fix those if I do see any people pointing them out. What does it look like back from down here in Jeremyville? Oh, look at that towering over. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, does it actually go through the clouds? There we go, change the cloud height, but you can see the bits of snow on it. That's tilting me off. I hate the snow. I'm going to have to fix that at some point, but that means putting a lot of string down. That looks so good towering over. Oh, I think I chose such a good place to put this thing. Also, lots of other people have different shader packs to me. I think I use the same one as Lizzie. She'll see it the same as me, which is good, but let's see what other people see it as quickly. Although I'm not sure if I've got the exact shader pack that they've got. This one doesn't look too bad. Although it kind of gets a bit foggy over there and I've turned fog off and it still is foggy and this one It just doesn't look good. in. <laughs> it just looks too dark and this one is way too glowy I think our shader packs the best now obviously the back is missing So we'll have to sort that out at some point and I think the next thing I'm gonna work on though next episode is working on like the route up to this thing and Maybe just a bit of the scenery around it is at the moment. It just sort of is just sat there amongst some stone bits of like floating grass etc we need to get working on that desperately but look at it look at it it's huge oh, i'm so happy that i've got this done i can move on to do some other stuff now i've been building for so long i need to do something that's not just pure building massive bases i think we can also start moving in now we can start getting like a big chest system up and running but next episode that's enough of that base today so seeing as it's been two days let's check our shop 
again. See if we've got any more diamonds. Also, we have been paid, but I'm going to wait till Fwip and Jimmy are online to sort that out. Four more diamonds from Warp Scrolls. Two from Backpacks. Four from Gravel. Three from Sand. Wow. Four Unbreaking Lassoes sold. Holy moly. And one stack of obsidian. 46 diamonds. The profits are rolling in. We're getting pretty rich now. As you can see from this chest here, look at all those diamonds. Lovely. Now, occasionally I've been pumping out some stuff from these mob farms. As you can see, I've got a guardian in this one at the moment, giving us some prismarine shards. But these are only diamond and you can actually upgrade it to emerald and then inferno and then ultimate. And apparently with ultimate, the lassoes just don't break. But to get this ultimate one, we need some stuff from the end, such as Elytra. So I think it's time we went to the end. I have no idea where the portal is, so we're going to have to find it ourselves. But I'm pretty sure it's open. Also, you may have seen in Lizzie's video, but we went to the nether and um, tried to save her. It didn't go too well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> See if you can aim for this. Are you ready? Log in. I'll, I'll, I'll record your death if you if not. <laughs> Hopefully I've got this in the right place. I couldn't really tell. Oh. I'm, I can't I think, see anything. I think you're above it. Wait. Oh gosh, no, you're off a little bit. It's, it's, it's not loading. It's, it's not responding. Oh! <gasps> Babe. Joel, you said you were going to save me. You landed on it. You bounced back up. Oh, and I've just realized we need to put our billboard up. And I think I might actually make two of these and put another one somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. Maybe up on the hill up there. Because we've got so many good designs and cool artwork. So I'll work on that in a bit. First, let's head to the end. I hope we can find it within eight Eye of Enders. Okay, it's around here somewhere. I'm not sure if this is the same one as everyone else has been to because there's no sign of life around here. Oh, wait, never mind. What am I talking about? There it is. <laughs> Let's do our little trick. Yeet. I know this is definitely Scott who's been here and he found the end portal because like he uses this sort of wand thing. I'm not sure what it is, but you can just put down light. This illumination one. Try and make one of those. There we go. I spy. We actually have to find the entrance to it. I wish they'd left a sign saying portal this way, but no, nope, we got to find it ourselves. Hey, here we go. All right, we got our carpet. Let's eat up to full hunger. Oh, there's a waystone here as well. Nice. Let's go in. Oh no, it's very dark. All right. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring ender pearls. No, wait, I didn't. I've got some. I did, however, not kill the ender dragon. And look, there's some of those creepy eyes things. I don't know what they are. Can I click this? The end. Nice. Now, apparently, there's some cool stuff in the end. We just got to find it. We get into some bother. We can just use our warp scrolls to get out of here. But let's head through this portal here. Lovely. <gasps> Whoa. Look at this place. Oh, it's beautiful. They don't look too... Oh, those are those weird bat things. Wait, what are those? Oh, my gosh. There's some creepy stuff. What is this block, though? Can I take this block? Oh. Yo, what? It started floating. Poise cluster. That is weird. Oh gosh. You have to kill the block to break it. Kind of hate it. Not gonna lie. Right, I've no idea which way other people went in, but let's see if we can find an end city. It's gonna fly off this direction. It looks really pretty, but at the same time, kind of hate it. What's in the middle of these things? There's like stuff inside the dome. What is that? Is that a plant? Right, we're gonna try and kill it. What is this? Alright, so there's a thing there. I killed it. This is an interesting place. I'd like to see just, you know, a basic old end city now. Although I love the design of this thing. It looks really cool. I just don't know what they do. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. Hey up. Has this one been... Oh, I think it's been looted. There's no dragon skull. I can try. But yeah, it looks like someone's already been... No! What am I on about? Someone's not been here. Is anything good in here? Diamond stuff. But most importantly... The sky's the limit. Nice. Okay, we need another one, actually. So that's probably not going to be good enough. There's a dragon skull. I didn't see it before. I just didn't load in. Give me the skull. Yeah, boy. And we don't really need shulkers, so I'm just going to leave the end city for now. This was wrong. I actually needed four shulkers, and I just forgot to get all of them. Because we have backpacks, and they're just a lot better. If this was vanilla, I'd be all over that, but no. Nope. So I want three elytra in total. One for myself, because I think you can actually, if I click here, yeah put it on my back and then I get a cool back cape again because for some reason capes don't work in this server. So that's the main reason I wanted one. And also I can just have it on with my armor which is awesome and if I fall from anywhere I can quickly go into elytra mode. A another one. Wait what is this? This looks different. This is not vanilla. What's going on in this thing here? What on earth is that? Um I don't have a bow on me. What the heck is that? 
Does it attack you if you go near it? Can I get into this room above? There's like a chest room. <laughs> it's below me. Some iron. Gold. Wait, what is that? Bufflon large storage. Oh, diamonds, yes. I'm not sure if I want to go near that. Oh, never mind. Ah, what the heck? It just destroyed everything. These things floating around here are quite cute. I don't know what the purpose of them is, but I like them. There's Elytra number two. This is a huge end city. There's another one of those creepy things up there. But there's an end ship right next to it, which means there might be an Elytra in there. Let's find out. Yeah, boy. Elytra number three. We can get out of here. Gonna check the chest in the top of this thing, just in case there's anything decent in it. Ooh, one of those things for a magic carpet. Nice. I wonder if he's got something underneath him that's cool or something. Like, why Why would... What's the point in killing this guy? I don't know. Let's get out of here. We're gonna store two in here for now, and then we're gonna enchant the third to put on our back. Oh, it's got life mending on it. Are you kidding me? Well, there we go. Curse removed. Let's plop this in our back slot. And now we have a Lytra, which means... If I ever fall from a high place again, I can just float down. Whoa, why is my cape gone so weird? Now my, oh, oh my gosh, I look like a bee. What's going on? What are my wings doing? This is so weird. Why has it done this? But yeah, I can float down lovely to the ground. Very nice, very nice indeed. But now it's time we replaced this Shrek picture here with one of the amazing pieces of artwork that you guys drew for me. Now for the first billboard, we're actually going to have a design from at Shelby underscore XX on Twitter and look at it. Yes. Greetings from Jeremyville. Nice and overgrown. I love it. I think I'm actually going to remove some of these trap doors here so you can see it a bit better. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. That's such a good sign. Thank you for the amazing drawing, Shelby. I love it. And we're actually going to build another two billboards. These are going to be a bit simpler in design, but the artwork that goes on it is going to be amazing still. And I've downloaded so many Jeremyville signs that we've got enough for quite a few episodes now. So I think we're going to put one on this little end bit of this hill here. There we go. That one's nicely placed there. Let's get some artwork on it. And this one here is from LucasCA underscore X on Twitter. Honestly, love it. Yes, beautiful, very pretty. I just need to make the ground underneath this billboard look good. But look at that. That's looking awesome. I love how big all these are being displayed on the world. And finally, we have Smoky Grapes on Instagram who made us this lovely Jeremyville sign here, as you can see. Very cute. I love it. I think it's perfect. The final sign dotted around Jeremyville. Yes. We'll have to work on making the back of these look a bit better as at the moment they're not looking great, but that's for the future. For now, I just like seeing the artwork. <laughs> so apparently Lizzie has already discovered the fact that... Uh, We've been renaming her cows. Have more cows appeared since last time? There seems to be a lot in here. It's going to be even harder to find the Jeremy's. Oh, there's Jeremy the cow. And I see another Jeremy. They're still around somewhere. And you know what? Let's name one more cow for the good old times. And then we'll just leave it be. So this cow here can be... Hello, Lizzie. My name is Cow Jeremy. There we go. <laughs> I love our area. I love it. But there you have it, guys. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this episode. Obviously, we've made a lot of progress on the base. I'm so excited excited to get moving into that thing and working on a new waystone area as well because mine at the moment both of them just terrible absolutely terrible thank you for all the amazing artwork submitted if you didn't see yours in this video don't worry i've got a folder we're going to change each free every episode and try and get as much artwork as we possibly can on these billboards and i'm loving them thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new i shall see you another time goodbye